Hey, KIC here, and welcome back to a little more Ark Survival Evolved. So, I was trying to record this episode, we'll say, last night when the game kind of gave up on me. So, here we are. Last episode did a little more exploring, was kind of visiting where the saber-tooth creatures live, as well as, well, there's some eagles around there and... Quite a few things actually, Mammoths, that sort of fun stuff, and I thought I'd get back to one of the things I've been talking about and just haven't actually done. So, here we are, essentially, and I'm not sure how this is going to go down quite yet, but we're going to take care of mm, something on my list. Ah, great, there's three of you. I didn't see you earlier. You are a level 17, I don't want you. You're going to be a pain in my rear. You're level one. You're level two. I'm good with either of those. I have a feeling I'm going to annoy most all of them, and this might end up not working out well for me. Well, let's see what happens. So I happen to have a bunch of Trank Arrows because I may or may not have found them on a supply crate. Okay, well, I did, obviously. I'm not high enough level to make these, so... Found them on Supply Crate. I've actually used some of these because, as I said, I was having some problems recording. And actually used quite a few more of these than I have right now. Oh, are you stuck? Oh, well, that kind of makes this feel a little cheatery. You gonna drop yet? You shouldn't take more than three. I'm just gonna give them a few seconds here. Her. A few seconds. Kind of let the, the tranquilizer apply since I kind of think that's how it works, since when I last tried to do this, before the game died on me, the trike kind of fell over as I was pulling the string back. There we go. And the trike is out. Now, of course, the fun part about this is I don't actually have pretty much any of the stuff I need. Yeah. Oops. So, like, all these berries I'm grabbing right now, it's because I don't have any on me. Yeah, I'm starting this from scratch. I'm not doing this in any sort of real planned method because all the stuff I had appears to be gone. So I'm actually just going to kind of load this guy up, this girl up, with a lot of stuff. And I'm just going to be spending a lot of time out here doing this. Now I have Freya with me, of course, because I rode her over. And she's kind of here for backup, defense, whatever. You know, in case a Carno or something should happen to swing by with any luck. She'll defend me from that and won't kill this vulnerable trike that is just lying on the ground. But I'm going to be checking in with you as I go through this process. And with any luck, say hi to the cat. Second cat, actually. First one already came and left. But with any luck, I will find some Mijo berries, because I believe that's what the trike's like. And I'll have a trike before this episode is done. That's my goal anyway, so I'll be checking in with you again. If you remember what it looked like over here before, then you know I've pretty much decimated the plants in the immediate vicinity. So just checking in with her. Come on, where are you? You're you're over here somewhere. There we are. Did shove a few narco berries down her throat, not too many. I've been able to keep her mostly full with Mijo berries, which is what she is going for. And yes, I'm just throwing everything on there because why not? You know, let's go ahead and use some more of these guys. I mean I'm going to end up needing them at some point. So, just taking a look. I'm about, I don't know, 6th of the way there, 7th of the way there, or something like that. Considering I've been yammering at you for about 4 minutes, my recording's been running for just about 11. You can kind of do the math and know how long I've been at this, so I'll be back with you again. It's been about another 5 minutes since I checked in with you, and I've totally decimated that side. Oh. I guess I missed a plant right there. Well, whatever. I'll go worry about that one in a minute, but just checking in with her. suppose I should give her all my stem berries, too. As long as she doesn't eat them, then we're fine. I don't think she can use them. That would be rather devious if she could. I'm going to go ahead and load her up with a few more of these, because I can. And just checking in. 81% taming effectiveness. That is far, far higher than anything I've had to this point. That's thanks to, of course, tranquilizer arrows. And then, you know, taming is about twice as far as it was, which is to say, not very far at all. So I'm going to be a while before I check back in with you, just because clearly it's going to be another 20 or 30 minutes, something along those lines. So 
I'll be back with you again, but again, I'm going to take my time this go-around. You can see it's night out. Well, I hope you can see it's night out. And I just realized this thing popped up behind me, so I thought, ah, you know, what the heck, I might as well run over there and see if it has anything. And run right back here and show you that, no, I'm still not done. Somewhere over here, on the ground, assuming I haven't completely gotten lost, is a trike that I'm trying to tame. I don't know where she is. She's over here somewhere. There she is, see? Back here, let's go check on her while I'm waiting for that supply crate to come down. It's not quite halfway yet. She's a little more than halfway though, so I'm getting there. Next time I check in with you, I expect to be done. Again, barring any sort of Carno, Spinosaurus, T-Rex, etc. attack. And about the worst I've seen out here is a Carno, so I don't think that's going to happen. But go ahead and take this moment while I'm waiting for the crate to come down to mention that version 180 has come out today. I actually posted a quick video just showing the performance of it and it basically addressed a whole host of things. Lots of additions, patches, fixes, updates, all those fun, fancy, multi-syllabic words. But one of the big things was it addressed memory usage both on the server and on the client side. And I do have to say the devs Studio Wildcard have done quite good work on that front because, hi, you're about to die because you're going to hit Freya here and Freya is going to... Well, as soon as she's done, that is, there you go, she's going to wreck you. She's going to eat your face. Good. So anyway, server and client changes where memory is concerned. That's what I was saying. Yeah, they did a number on this game. It now takes up way, way less. You know what? I already have that stuff. Uh, I should go ahead and take it, though. Why not? I can load Freya up with it. I mean, you know. That's kind of what I'm doing anyway. I'm just giving her a bunch of junk to hold because, hey, that's what dinosaurs are for. Did you? I was going to say, I didn't think you ran out of space. Don't give me that. But I do have to say, as I keep trying to say, that the devs have done a really good job on reducing the server's and client's memory usage. Server usage is down by a couple gigs. Client usage is down by maybe a gig or so. And I'm talking gigabytes of memory. It's pretty pretty impressive it really truly is so i don't know performance improvements uh they're there they really are i just i'm not entirely sure how much they are that'll require a little bit more testing but it really does seem like it's not quite as slow as it was but i'm not seeing massive improvements but i wasn't really expecting that either so i'll be back with you again so here we are it is now morning couple triceratops in the area. There was a stegosaurus somewhere. I don't know where the stego went. There's the stego. There's another trike over there. Look at that. There's another supply crate right there. I should probably go check it out just for blueprints. Anyway, we are really close, so I can show you here. Next one will do it. If not, then probably the one after that. I was figuring as I was looking that I'd probably end up somewhere around 55% taming effectiveness, so I'm actually going to be a little higher than I thought, and that was completely a guess. It was not anything at all fact-based or anything along those lines. Is that it? That's not going to do it. Ah, so close, so close. One more, one more berry. I can tell you I have spent the entirety of my time out here the stuff has grown back. Some of it I have picked over multiple times because why not? Freya over there has been a good sport, kind of hanging out with me, just waiting for the trike to be tamed. Look at that. Got a Triceratops finally. I sure took long enough, right? So, look at that. Everything except for that would be probably the Parasaur right there would be my guess. I suppose I should maybe get around to those at some point. What are we going to call her? I'm going to go with Spikeette. So Spikeette has joined the team here. Let's show you how much stuff she's carrying. It's ridiculous. I have given her every berry I have found, with the exception of 20 of them that I ate. And if you've been paying close attention to my inventory, you see something curious right there. That's right, I have a blueprint for a trike saddle. That tells you right there, too, how many 
pieces of fiber I picked up. I had well over 1,500 of them. Is that insane or what? That's, yeah. I'm not joking when I say I've been picking all this stuff up. I really, truly have. So you are following. Good deal. Here, let's have you not follow. We're going to hop on Spikeette because why not? And now Freya will go ahead and follow Spikeette here who appears to be stuck in some trees. Okay. Yep, she is totally stuck. Every time I try to go somewhere, she is stuck. Great. Let's go around this way. Maybe I can get out of here. Holy cow, this thing is big compared to my little raptor. I mean, they don't look that big. Wow, I have massive rubber banding and something going on. Look at that. That's not at all fantastic. Wow. I'm just going to hop off now and see if I can't figure out... Is that the problem? Am I hitting you? I shouldn't be. If you're stuck on all this stuff, I'm going to be a little annoyed because you shouldn't be. If you are, then these hitboxes really need even more work than I thought they did. And just like that, she's free. And galloping across the plains. Okay, it's really a desert, but wow. And there you go. Done. And uh, yeah, no stamina whatsoever. Good to know. Wow. That's kind of crazy. Freya should be back there somewhere. She's like, come on, can you can you move any slower? Look at that. We're we're charging and done. Just like that. All done. Oh, maybe I should uh No, she's fine now. I say maybe I should give her some stem berries, but she's actually okay. Her stamina is recharging pretty quickly, which is good. But that's probably because there really isn't much. I should also mention I've now been recording for about 52 minutes, so go ahead and subtract however many minutes I've been bantering with you since Spikeette has joined the team. That'll tell you about how long it's taken, considering I started at about the five minute mark. There you go, do some math, let me know. I'm just kidding, but if you do let me know, great. If not, yeah, it's about 47 minutes or so, or 45 minutes is what it took. I should probably mention, yes, there was a level 2 trike over there. I could have gone for the level 2 instead of this level 1. There was also a level... Mm, I don't know, what was it? 10, 17, something along those lines over there? And yeah, I absolutely could have gone for that one too, but... Eh, you know, I just... I don't have that kind of time. Sorry, I just don't. And in fact, as we're talking about how much time it takes to do this, since I'm basically just lumbering back toward my shack... I think from this point forward, I'm going to have to do a little experimentation, but I'm going to make a server file change. Hey, look at that. She got a level. Good. She's going to need to be getting many of them because... Ah, where do we start? You need some more stamina or something. I don't know. Maybe you need more weight. I don't know. Uh, movement speed. For the... Oh, wow. That was not worth it at all. I should have gone with stamina. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. I wanted to see what it would do. Oh well, too late. Anyway, I'm going to play with server files a little bit because, as I've said before, I do run my own private server when I'm playing. I'm technically running it on the same computer I'm playing on these days because of other issues, but I'm going to adjust the taming speed. I'm not going to make it something crazy like 20 times or 50 times or something like that, but I might go two, three, four times the taming speed because I'm just being honest with you. I don't have four hours to sit and tame a T-Rex. Yeah, I know, you could do it faster if you're getting a bunch of prime meat, that sort of thing, but that said, I just don't have that kind of time, really, to be taming anything. It doesn't matter what it is, T-Rex or otherwise. I'm going to see if I can park her on the side over here. I want to see how she compares next to the building and the walls. So let's hop off here. I'm going to tell everyone to not say anything, not move. Wow. She is much, much bigger than my walls and bigger than my house. And yeah, don't mind the window up there. I was just goofing around with some stuff I found. I probably should move that. Let's go ahead and move Freya a little bit. In fact, here, let's just do it the easy way. I'm just going to hop on her. And she is stuck. Oh, never mind. She's... Yeah, I have too much stuff. Sorry, I forgot about that. Here, let's see if I can get her to move over here, because... There we go. You stop right there. Let's go ahead and level her up a bit. I have been hitting her health a tiny bit since I had a really close call with some saber-tooth cats yesterday when I was not recording. She took down eagles like a champ, but the saber-tooth cats 
since I'm not going to say saber teeth. They were pretty rough, but look at that. She's a bit of a tank, so let's go ahead and give her more damage. That'll take her over 300. 306, actually. You know what? You do have something I want from you. Not that. Wrong button. Let's try that again. I gave you this because I don't know why, because I thought it might be useful. And let's see. I have no idea how long this takes, if I'm even putting in the correct amount of thatch or anything like that. So here, throw that in there. Why not? I've actually had this going for a while because I found this compost bin in a storage... Storage? No. Not a storage crate. What are those called? One of those things that fall from the sky. Supply crate. That's what it is. And I just want to show you the rest of the stuff here before I call it an episode. Because I have... Oh yeah, there's a trike egg I found the other day. In between episodes. And some pipes that I found. Some walls that I built because I'm planning on expanding things a little bit here. I have some more blueprints. Uh, I think those are the same ones I've already had. I made a bunch of spark powder, so that stuff is all nice and good to go. Found another blueprint. Have more... Quite a few more stone pipes. And in fact, well, let's put those guys in there. And I built this box, which is full of more pipes and blueprints and things. Look at that. I even have a spyglass that I found. I have bows everywhere. I have arrows everywhere. I said I've been killing birds. I even found a blood extraction syringe, which I haven't even used yet, not to mention the blueprint for it. So maybe next episode we can have a little bit of a conversation about taking engrams versus finding blueprints, because I don't know. I'm uh, not sure what I think about it all just yet, but obviously I found a blueprint to make myself a big old trike saddle, so I really do need to go experiment with her and do a little berry hunting, berry foraging, I guess it would be. But I'm going to call it an episode right there. So, got a trike, got her all saddled up. It's pretty awesome, I think, anyway. Oh, here, and I can even show you, I have two farm plots back there that aren't going to do anything because I'm irrigating them by hand, and I haven't done it in a day or two, so they're really not doing anything. But there you go. Got a trike. Calling it a day as I stand ceremoniously, victoriously, something on top of my big old spike at. She's a good girl. She's a big girl. She's a good girl. So, catch you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you later.